Now, Rigo, I said earlier you would have faced fiery death over facing <laughs> Victoria. Why is that? There was no chemistry whatsoever. I mean, when I got there, she was dressed like she was going out to like the prom or a nightclub or something. You told me that I looked great, and in fact, when I... I was only doing it to be nice. <laughs> Rigo, did you actually have time to take off work to go on the date? There was about 110 fires going on in California, and I, had a, I ended up taking a half a shift off. My supervisors or captains were pretty, they were pretty upset about it, but I went ahead and did it and, and thought it, you know, try to have the best time I could. And uh, let me tell you, no kind of gratitude whatsoever. And boom. <laughs> so, Victoria, let me get your side. How was he dressed uh, for this date? He was pretty much a slob. He was wearing jeans oh. and a t-shirt. We were going to the Hollywood Bowl. You know, I spent a lot of money on the tickets. I just, I was dressed like I was going on a nice date. Unfortunately, and... when you're at work for five days, who's got Yeah, time but Nicole, is this, typ is this typical? Does this he dress up? so, so typical of him. <laughs> he dresses with a tight pair of jeans and a shirt from the clearance rack. It is oh. so typical. I would not, I, don't, I completely understand. <laughs> so you're in agreement with what, that whole situation. Oh. Rigo, what about talking with Victoria and having a conversation with her? Talking to her was almost like talking to my sister. I mean, it was like counseling. You know, it was, I, I felt it was... I, I should have paid her money to listen to, <laughs> to, to, to tell my you problems about my girlfriend. Did he reveal anything to you that you thought maybe was a little too personal, just getting to know somebody? Um, besides the fact that he doesn't wear underwear and that some woman paid him $1,500 to be a male what? escort once. <laughs> Fifteen oh, hundred? No. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sure that was a lie. I can't yeah, see that happening. Yeah, I'm thinking, Rico, you show up at the doors of Mel Escort, I'm asking for a refund. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal, but I'm just, you know, I don't know. Uh, Rico, I understand you guys went to the Hollywood Jazz Festival. Is that something that you would enjoy? Well, let me tell you, Nick, the Hollywood I, don't, I don't find any kind of excitement paying to listen to the radio. I mean, let's be realistic. And that here she's, dre class, she's right dressed up as like she's, we're going to the prom or something. I, I thought it'd be nice. I've got a bottle of wine, a bottle of champagne, a little brie, a little cheese and crackers. <laughs> and it was like she was empty handed, like everything she wanted on a platter for, you know? And it was like a spur of the moment. I mean, I spent $130 on the ticket. She got the ticket. I've got $130. I've got $130 for it in my pocket if she wants it. So, back. Victoria, I mean, oh! Victoria. There you are. I mean, was it that blatantly obvious that he wasn't enjoying himself? Or well, wait a minute. You know, let he, me he, let me interrupt. He, let me interrupt. Wait. The, the, the funny thing was is that I even got her filet mignon when we were there. I mean, even did. everybody that around was, us was, was in, it was in amazement. On paper, I, I this go, all sounds good. I go to the bathroom was, and I come back and she's telling everybody that we're on this date and I'm going back and everybody's like shaking my hand. Hey, yeah, you're on this date. Great. You know, Giving you know, high fives. He, yeah. He, so explain, was, Victoria. Well, he was supposed to he was supposed to bring dinner and he brought cheese and crackers and and. So when other people around us were eating steak and he said, well, do you want some? I was like, well, sure. Let me yeah. tell you, I'd rather be at home with, Vic with Nicole than to waste my time with you. So it was oh. bad. Oh. 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 